you chat a lot, that is fine. I talk a lot, so it's fine. <laughs> So I'm Robin and I'm a graphic designer at Pretty Little Thing. I'd say bold colour choices, fonts, things like that as well. Get your creative friends to give you a hand if you're not necessarily a creative yourself. It's a funny one, but um, I'd say give the person a compliment because they'll remember you as the person that gave them a compliment and we all like being complimented. As a creative, I always get given a task. They might ask for three things. I do five things because you want to show that that's what you're like in a job. That's what you're there to show that you can go above and beyond the creative aspect of whatever you're doing and you can push the boundaries of making a brand better, bigger and do more always. When they don't tell you the salary from the beginning. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine. It, everything always works out in the end. It's daunting at the beginning, um, it's scary, but you will find your path, you will find your process if you work hard enough and show how much you care about the job. Just the whole environment, if I'm honest. It's so fun, everyone's so kind. Um, we're so creative. It's just an amazing atmosphere to be around uh, amongst like, the buyers to the, the photographers, just the whole thing is just so inspiring. So working for a brand like that, who are very women empowering. The clothes. <laughs> yeah, no, more than that, more than that. It's an art in itself. It's just as much as, you know, seeing a painting on the wall, stuff like that. I see it as another art form. There's so many different arms of fashion, there's the art side, there's the, the buying side, there's the creative side, there's the shoot, there's the styling. It's an, you know, it's an art form in itself and that's why I just love fashion. Not knowing what you're doing. I think when you go from uni or um, interning or things like that um, and then you go from there, it's, it's, un, it's unknown, so yeah, definitely. Um, yes, when someone says, what are you having for your tea? I'm like, oh my God, every day. It's like, well, who's gonna ask it? Who's gonna say it first? Someone's going to. So yeah, that's what I'd say when someone asks you that. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but maybe like find them on LinkedIn. <laughs> the colleagues and stuff see what they've been doing because you know a, a lot of the time they're updating what they're what they're doing at the work and you might be able to see an insight into you know what you'd be doing or what you know that kind of stuff and also it's a chance to make friends um I don't know I never switch off I think I, I walk down the street and I see a sign and I'm like what font is that um yeah I mean make sure you're relaxing don't don't you know don't spend too much time doing it. but at the end of the day if you're doing what you love, it doesn't feel like work. And that's so healthy for you. I'm a big advocate in doing, not necessarily going for jobs because of money, going for jobs because the, the, the role or whatever. Do what you love because it won't ever feel like work. Oh, you tell me, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting it this week, we all feel it. Um, I think it's that kind of thing of like, why me a little bit? Like, why? why am I doing this? Why am I the person other than somebody else that might bring more to the table? But what you've got to remember is you're unique in yourself. You bring your own creativity, you bring your own style, your own voice. So there, you know, there's that little voice in you that's saying, no, 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 but you will be fine and you will, you will create and it will be good, yeah. So many lessons to stand up for yourself. Make sure no one is you know, stand up for what you believe in, stand up for your designs, your creativity, or even, you know, any job you're doing. Value your work. You are, you are an asset to any company that you join. Um, and that's why, yeah. Just know that you're great. I think it's, you know, we all get told sometimes that we could be better, we could do more and we could do this, but actually 
career confidence comes within yourself. And I think if you shine confidence, people gravitate towards you and they give you more responsibility, you're, you're more approachable. So it's hard at the beginning to be confident in something you're, you're not used to doing, but fake it till you make it. Definitely. Awesome, I think we're all done. That yeah. Cool, thank you. What are you gonna do now that you're having to Oh God.